Praise the Lord, beloved of the Most High God, in the mighty name of King Jesus. I wanted to share something with you today I was thinking about, and I thought it might be fun for you. The Lord showed me this a, a few days ago, but I was thinking about how, you know, certain so-called, I, I, didn't, I didn't even want to say it. I didn't even want to call them that because that's not what they are. Okay, I, I'll give them another name. What people call ministries, we'll, we'll call it ministries of destruction. And they can't leave them alone. You know, I was talking to a, a good sister uh, via via text about this, and, and she was saying, she said, I don't know why I keep going back. I know it's terrible. I can't. I, I, I listen and I know it's just going to, you know, make me feel bad. Why do I keep doing it? Why? Did, because it's like a, I know that, you know, it's going to mess with my mind and my emotion and make me feel bad. But I keep going back. I said, this is like a train wreck. It's like a soap opera. This is, this is what this stuff is designed to do. Soul trauma binds you. And you say, well, why would anybody, healthy people won't? A health, no, now don't misunderstand. We've been conditioned for this. Don't think I'm coming down to you. I'm not coming down. We've all been conditioned to receive trauma and accept it and look for more. What do you think all these programs do? All these different shows that show you all this wickedness where they, they, they bind you to these characters. And then you want to see what happens to them. You get emotionally invested. And that's what these ministries, again, I'm using the term loosely, are ministries of destruction, do. They bind you to the soul trauma they cause. These micro traumas and micro attacks are designed to bind you to them. Why do you think women can't leave men that abuse them or men can't leave women that abuse them? A healthy person, you ain't you ain't got to harm me but one time. I'm packing my bag, I'm out. But because we've been conditioned to receive not only through society but the media these micro traumas and micro insults and just receive them and take them we put up with that stuff. But I was thinking about how uh, 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 kind of my own comedy parable. Look, follow me with this. So I was sitting in my room and I was thinking about this particular ministry and what we just went through over here in in reality world after you had to deal with people just playing games with your mind. And I said... Now, if I was sitting on, like, my porch, and down the street there was a church that just opened up a couple of blocks away, just down the street, you could see it from your your house, sitting on the porch in your rocking chair, chilling, and somebody comes wobbling down the street, and he bumps into another person who's going up the street Sunday best. It's a Sunday morning. And they both got on their Sunday best. But one guy's coming down the street. He got a handkerchief. He's pressing up against his forehead. He got a big old knot on his forehead. And the other guy says to him, Man, what happened to you? He said, Well, you see that church down there? He said, I went in there and they hit me in the head with a hammer. And the guy's like, No. He says, As a matter of fact, I'm going to check out that church right now. That's what I'm on my way to. It's a new church. I thought I'd check it out. He's like, Man, don't go in there. They're hitting people in the head with a hammer. So then that man continues on his way, wobbling down the street. The other man's going the opposite direction. He's headed to the church. He goes on down the street and goes a little bit further, a couple of houses over, and he bumps into a lady coming down the street. She got a knot on the opposite side of her head. She holding it. She bleeding. She's like, he's like, what happened to you? She said, I went in that church and they hit me in the head with a hammer. And he's like, what? I'm telling you, that church done went in there and they hit me in the head with a hammer. He's like, what? This is, and he's like, now nah, that's two people that told you to see big knots on their head. And he's like, I'm not sure I believe it, but what? Curiosity. Like he got to go see for himself. So he get a little bit further down the street. 
here come another man. He got a handkerchief holding the back of his head. Big old knot on the back of his head. And he's like, sir, what happened to you? He said, I went in that church over there. And they hit me in the head with a hammer. Now there's three people done told him that church down the street where he's headed is hitting people in the head with a hammer. But he just can't. He got to go. I got to see for myself. So he gets on over there, gets up the stairs, goes in the, the front door, slowly looking around. Everything looks okay. He's in the foyer. Right in front of him is the double doors to the sanctuary. There's an usher standing there with his white gloves on, nice suit, looking dapper, looking fine, looking righteous. And he has a nice smile on his face. And so he goes towards the door gingerly. And the usher opens the door and he looks in. Everything looks okay. And he walks in. He looks to the left. He don't see nothing. He goes to look to the right and bam! He gets hit in the head with him. Now he comes wobbling out, grab his handkerchief, sopping up the blood from his knot. And he comes wobbling down past me. Now mind you, I done watched all these people tell him. If you go in that church down there, you don't get hit in the head with a hammer. And he comes wobbling past me. And he's like, I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. I don't believe it. Why didn't you believe it? You had three witnesses that told you if you went in that church, you was going to get hit in the head with a hammer. I would just be shaking my head. Now, do you think I'm going to get up and go in there? Nope, but I would continue to warn people, hey, don't go in that church. You go in that church, you don't get hit in the head with a hammer. I done seen four people have to. This is exactly, and I want you to know, I had got all my laughs out, all my laughing. I was in tears laughing about how silly we can be as human beings. I'm going to put we in there because we've all done it. We've all done it where curiosity got the best of us. We heard, we saw, we knew, and we still went and looked and got hit in the head with him. That's the equivalent of the assault that ended up taking place. But we did it to ourselves. So all you can do is warn people. All you can do is tell people, look, this so-called ministry, this ministry of destruction, this is what Jesus told us. You'll know them by their fruit. Are they bringing people to Christ? Are they leading people to Christ? Are they building up people in their most holy faith? Are they strengthening them? Or are they shipwrecking people's lives? Are they sending people away with not subside they here for listening to them? You know, it comes a point that you're going to deserve every knot upside your head you get. Why? You were warned not to go over there. Because if you go over there, they're going to hit you in the head with a hammer. A word to the wise is sufficient. Be blessed, beloved of the Most High God, in the mighty name of King Jesus. Amen. Amen.